In today's video, we get to do a little bit of traveling. We also get to check out a lot more. I recently went to Fiverr and actually got a special logo for this channel. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. Eventually, and hopefully soon, I'll be able to get an intro as well to go along with the logo. All right, let's get into the action. Once the first floor has been sufficiently explored, we need to go upstairs. Heading upstairs, you can check out Asbel's room. Walking near his bed, you can watch this get rash justice. Ka-doink! Ouch! Don't pinch my cheeks! It really hurts! Asbel, cut that out! What's wrong with you? I found a piece of Creus on Launt Hill that was full of Eleth, but it's gone. I think Hubert stole it. Asbel, what's that by your feet? Oh, my Creus! Well, what do you know? This happens every single time. Then, you'll want to check Asbel's desk to receive the enemy book. This is a book that will be very useful, especially whenever there's a new enemy. Soul Orbs. These are the reason the enemy book is so important, at least for a 100% completion. They're an item that you can get from every enemy. Once you've fought the enemy enough times, they'll drop a Soul Orb. Each Soul Orb counts as one grade in the New Game Plus grade shop. Once you obtain the Soul Orb for an enemy, the enemy book will show a star next to their name. The Soul Orbs are the reason we'll be grinding every single area, making sure that every single enemy is starred before we move on. Now we need to head back to town. Return to where the militia man is and you'll get a scene. I'm getting kind of hungry. Let's pick some apples before we go. Ah! I can't reach them. You're hopeless. Here, watch out. Let me do it. Hey, what? You can't reach him either. Shut up. You kids want some apples? Here you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, mister. Here, you have one too. Okay. Now boys, I heard you've been wandering around Lont Hill on your own. Where'd you hear that? In that case, why not take this along? You'll learn a whole lot, and you might even have some fun too. He'll give you the discovery book. Wait, you're giving us a present? Oh, wow. A discovery book. What's that? It's a book that chronicles each region's rare products and places. Whenever you find one, you can record it in the discovery book. Hey, let's try it out. Hmm. Something rare. Something rare. Aha! Asbel. You're not going to record the girl with amnesia, are you? Uh, of course not! Let's just record the apple tree instead. Right, I'm on it. Our first discovery location is apple trees. Discoveries always lead to a skit, so don't forget to watch them after you make your discovery. This discovery skit is the fruit of ignorance. Look at all those apples! Apples? Apples! That guard just gave you one! Don't tell me you don't know what an apple is! I don't think so, no. I haven't seen one before. Wow! You really aren't from around here, huh? Wherever you came from, it must be pretty far away. 
Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> Now we can take the quiz that I mentioned earlier. There are three questions. Correctly answering all of them will give you 100 geld. The answers are... Wolf Pup. Bully Boar. And Giant Bee. You may have to go through trial and error to get all the questions correct. Even without the guide though, just reading the questions, the answers probably would have been pretty simple to figure out. Thanks to that extra 100 gold, now we have enough to go buy a manual manual. There isn't anything new in the shops and there won't be until you reach adulthood. Once you've bought manual manual, there is no need to return to either of these shops for a while. Now that we have access to manual mode, it's definitely recommended to switch at least Asbel, or whomever you primarily fight with, to manual. It's much easier to spam focus certain arts. This is for the sake of unlocking new titles. Every single art has an adept and a master title. These are rewarded for using the art a certain number of times. We'll get into arts and titles a little bit more once we get into adulthood. As a child, the game doesn't offer very much to access. Luckily, I realized this around the middle of the time playing through the childhood. Mind you, it was after I did an hour-long session of training. We can head back to the windmill for another discovery, Lord Windigard. You have to climb up to the top of the windmill to get the skit full of hot air. Wow, check out that view. I hope you're okay with heights. Why? Why? Um, because we're really high up and it would hurt if you fell. Oh, that sounds bad. What? Hey, Asbel, what is this? It's a windmill. See? The eleth in the wind powers the blades, which is cool. The adults around here call this mill Lord Windegard, but I'm not a big fan of that name, so personally, I prefer to call it... Uh, hey, where'd she go? I guess she really is afraid of heights, huh? Asbel and Sophie have quite different personalities. Like anyone, Asbel enjoys talking about himself and his earlier life. We found out here that he is 11 now, which can be useful for later once Asbel gets to adulthood. Returning back to the ground, there isn't much else we can do once we've talked to everyone. Next, we can go back to Asbel's house and get the family portrait discovery, as well as the skit Age is Just a Number. Is that you in this picture, Asbel? You look different. Yeah, I was probably around nine years old back then. My father had some artist paint it. Nine? I'm eleven now, so that would have been two years ago? Oh, but hey, uh, how old are you? I don't know. Maybe fourteen? Really? Hmm. Are you sure you're older than me? With that completed, we can leave Lot now. We need to head back to the apple tree, where we'll exit to West Lot Road. The save point has another skit, Boys and Boats. I've never been down West Lot Road before. We come this way all the time to look at boats. Boats? If you keep going down this road, you'll reach the Western Port. They have boats from all over the world. 
<laughs> I guess you really are a boy if you love boats. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I'll show you what I got. Yeah, take that. Hey, yeah, leave some for me. Yeah, take that. Hey. We're the toughest kids in town. But we shouldn't be out in places like this. We can't just talk to them? Over already? The next discovery is gel seeds, along with the skit not for human consumption. How nice! These look yummy! I'll take one of them too! I already picked some. What are you gonna do with more? Maybe I want my own apple gel. What does that have to do with anything? If you bring a gel seed and an apple to a merchant or a turtles, they can turn them into an apple gel. Wow, I didn't know that. I thought you just ate them. You shouldn't do that, Asbel. I don't think they're good for you raw. Next to the tree is a chest with another glass sphere. The person in yellow is called a turtles. This first one will teach you about synthesis, which is called dualizing. You's got an apple and a gel seed, yeah? Then let's get dualizing. Dualizing? It's where you makes an item by combining these things we call materials. Can I really do that? Sure, just talk to one of us turtles, or else hits the shops in town. But you's gonna need this first. It's a dualized book. We have to read? Oh, what a pain. Lazy, eh, kid? Well, no worries. I'll teach you. Well, all right. Now you just copy everything I does, yeah? You got it. Hey, don't be copying how I talks. Asbel is a bit of a smart aleck with a great sense of humor. He follows the directions given to him literally. That's it? Ha! That was easy. You's got talent for such little tadpoles. Hey! Don't treat me like a kid. On the west part of the beach, there is a chest you get rice from. There is also another sparkle point. Every sparkle point has the potential for a rare drop. One of these rare drops is called a magic carta. 
Continuing, we'll walk into a scene with the traveling Beastmaster. You there! Approach and bear witness to the rare and mysterious arts of the Stratton Beastmaster! Hey, do you recognize this girl? Not in the slightest. Is she lost? No, she has amnesia. Aw, how very unfortunate. Perhaps what she needs is to witness the astounding feats of a Beastmaster. Hmm, okay, sure. Let's see what you've got. Great! Prepare to be astounded! Ahem! Abracadabra! A hocus pocus, a front flip, go! Um, he's not moving. No, this isn't supposed to happen! Here, let me try. Abracadabra, front flip, go! Holy moly! Hey, what other tricks can she do? Uh, woozle, wazzle, backflip, go! Front flip with a twist! Uh, jump really high! Now, spin! Spin around and around and then stop! That was incredible! Wow, thanks for the great show, kids! Your friend here must be an acrobat from the circus! Or maybe an assassin femme fatale trained by a secret organization! Well, either way, it was pretty impressive! I hope you were paying attention, Puffy. Our act is gonna need some serious work. Let's get going! Are we done? So, she's either from the circus or an assassin. Really? I don't know, but those movements felt familiar, as if I'd done them before. Hmm, maybe the Beastmaster Lady was right. We should head home. I doubt we'll find anything else here. Head to the save point for the skit Abracadabra and the last part of this episode. Um, you know, Aspel, you could try giving me commands too. Huh? No, I'm good. Let's just go. Seriously, it's okay. Let's try it. Y you can give me any command you want. Oh, fine. Um, Abracadabra. Go be quiet for a while. Hmm. 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 What are you two doing? Come on, Hubert. Let's go. Hey, wait up. Hey, don't leave me here. Thanks for watching. I'll be continuing this series just a little bit faster than I was. The commentated videos will still be coming out once a week.